Hi, welcome back. This is Rakesh Naik. Today we are going to discuss about non-deterministic finite automata. But before we start, a small information I'd like to say. In this channel, we produce every video in two different languages, Hindi as well as in English. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates from this channel. So, let's start. non-deterministic finite automata basically. Till now we have learned what is deterministic finite automata. It means if we are in a particular state and we want to give a particular input symbol then we will be going to our next step. We can deterministically say to which other state we are going. That is deterministic finite automata. And deterministic finite automata is very much a practical aspect when you are talking about computer science. But our general day to day life, we generally don't do things deterministically. For example, if you are having 100 rupees, you have gone to a restaurant to eat something. So with that 100 rupees, can anybody say what you are going to eat? You can order anything according to your wish. What is known is you are having 100 rupees. That is non-determinism. So what is the next state you cannot determine? So you can say non-deterministic finite automata or NFA is a natural extension of DFA. So moreover we can say non-determinism is an essential feature of any finite automata. And in non-deterministic finite automata it has power of several states at once. So this non-determinism is basically turned as an ability to guess. As I have given you the example of the restaurant. Somebody can only guess what you are going to order with the 100 rupees you are having. But nobody can surely say that you are going to order this or that. So unlike a deterministic finite automata, NDFA or non-deterministic finite automata, in some books they write NFA. The exact state to which the machine moves to on receiving a symbol cannot be determined. A DFA is just a special case of NFA that happens not to have any null transition or multiple transition on the same input symbol. In DFA, we always say that you need a input symbol to have a transition. But in NFA, we can use null transitions, means without giving anything from the input symbol and make a transition. For that you can say for every NFA will be having a unique DFA and for that reason you can say DFA are not that powerful than NFAs. Let us try to see the definition of non-deterministic finite automata or NFA. Like DFA it is also it is also defined with five tuples that is Q, Sigma, Delta, Q0 and F where Q is a finite number of sets. You can say Q is not equal to 5. Sigma is the input alphabets. Delta is the transition function. As we have already discussed under DFA, it is a function that maps Q cross Sigma to 2 to the power Q. In DFA, it was only Q. And in NFA it is 2 to the power Q. It means it is going to a subset of the states. What is the meaning of that? Just hold on for some time. We will be discussing about it. Q0 is the initial state. As we have already known, there will be only one initial state. So we can say Q0 belongs to Q. And we know there can be several final states. So F is subset or equal to Q. When we talk about NFA and DFA, the basic difference is in the transition function. In DFA, the transition function maps to an element from the set of states. It means for a given state, on a given input, we reach to a deterministic and a unique state. But in case of NFA, it is a subset of Q. It means for a given state, on a given input, 
we may lead to more than one state. Now let us see the example here. Q0 is the starting state when we are at state Q0 and if we are choosing the input symbol to be A then either we can go to Q1 or you can go to Q2. On B we can go to Q1. If we are at state Q1 on A or B any input symbol it will go to the state Q2 which is the final state. Again on Q2 on giving A or B any input symbol again it will be in Q2. Unlike in deterministic finite automata, with A it is going to Q1 as well as to Q2. It means on receiving A one cannot say whether the finite automata will go to state Q1 or Q2. So let us see the transition table. So in the transition table as we know there are row and columns. The rows indicate number of states and column indicates the input symbols. So on Q0 when we give input symbol A it goes to state Q1 or Q2. So whatever state it is going we need to write within curly brackets. Let us try to design a NFA. NFA that accept a language over A and B that contains A in the last but one position. Last but one position means before the final state whatever state will be there whatever input symbol coming to that particular state is last but one. So that particular transition should be on A. Look at this Q0 is the starting state and Q2 is the final state. To come to Q2 you need A or B transition on Q1 and to reach Q1 you need A transition from Q0. So this A is nothing but last but one transition. And we don't bother if any number of A or B appear before this A. Now you can see on Q0 we are having A transition to Q0 as well as to Q1. B transition to Q0 only. Similarly when we are at Q1 we are having A B transition defined. And we need not define any transition at Q2. In DFA for every state Every input symbol need to be discussed, but it is not here in NFA. So let us see the transition table. The transition table as usual we represent with the help of rows and columns. The rows indicate the states and the column indicates the input symbol. On Q0 if we give input symbol A will be going to the state Q0 or Q1. On state Q0 if we give input symbol B will be at Q0. When we are at state Q1 with input symbol A or B we can go to Q2 and we need not define anything for Q2 so that's why we can say on input symbol A or B we are going to 5. So it is not determined here. Unlike in DFA we need not define all the input symbol at all the states. The main difference between DFA and NFA is the transition. So in order to find the transition we are having states Q0, Q1 and Q2 and that we want to do cross product with the input symbol A and B. If we are doing this we will get the set having Q0A, Q1A, Q2A, then Q0B, Q1B and Q2B. This set must map to the set of states with 2 to the power Q. Q0A is mapping to Q0 as well as to Q1. Similarly Q1A is mapping to Q2. So in that way we can define all the mappings. In DFA we map to only one state on the right hand side. But under NFA we can have more than one state that is mapped to the right hand side. It means we can say in NFA on a given input it may go to more than one state. Let us see how to define acceptability under NFA. Let x is a string and that set to be accepted by the NFA m, q, sigma, q0, f and delta. We can say the string x is accepted by this particular machine. If this x, if we take transition from the starting state, will reach to a state and that particular state and the set of final state if we take intersection 
if it is not phi or in other word if i want to say this transition will take me to at least one accepting state or final state then i'll say the string is accepted let us try to understand this with the help of this example let us say this is a nfa which contains substring 1 and 1 this is the corresponding transition table let us check whether 0 0 and 1 1 is accepted by this particular nfa or not let us take the transition the starting state is a and the first symbol in the string is 0 so 0 on a will take me to a now the first alphabet is again 0 now if i take 0 on a it will be again be a and the remaining string is 1 and 1 the first alphabet is 1 so 1 on a either it is going to be or it is in a so there are two different paths i am having 1 on a will take me to a and a is not a final state so we will try to explore some other path so here is a path that we need to explore 1 on b so 1 on b is going to c and c is a final state so i can say this particular string is accepted take one more example let us take 011100 whether this particular string is accepted or not we'll start with the initial state a and we are having this string in the the first symbol is 0 so 0 on a will take me to a and the remaining string is 1100 so 1 on a it is taking me to a as well as to b and the remaining string is 100 so let us try to explore this path 1 on a will take me to a and the remaining string is 00 again 0 on a will take me to a and the last alphabet is 0 again 0 on a is a which is not a final state but there are other paths also that we can explore 1 on b 1 on b is going to c again on c we are having 0 and 0 0 on c 0 on c it is going to c as well as to b so let us explore this path only because b will never lend me to a final state okay now the last alphabet left out is 0 so 0 on c so c is again a final state that's why the string 01100 is accepted So in this video we have discussed about what is NFA how to represent it and what is acceptability of string using NFA If you understood this video like the video and share among your friends If you are having any kind of doubt do comment In our next video we are going to see few examples of NFA So see you then take care